So you've got some big names as customers, Netflix, Zendesk, uh, Figma, Notion, Superhuman. How did you go out and, and get these big customers? What, what were you doing? You know, was this like, out, actually, it wasn't outbound because you, you told me earlier that that's something that you've just recently started doing. So how did you get these customers? Totally. So we got our first huge group of customers um, to include Netflix actually through press. You know, I think press can be like a really underutilized tool where maybe you just say like, we raised a lot of money, yay us. But we really tried to talk about the problem that we were tackling. So we said, for example, our first, um, the course that we had was sexual harassment. So we said like, hey, companies are investing a lot in inclusivity, but once a year they sit everyone down and they have this huge opportunity to um, explain what inclusivity looks like. Let's talk about what's right and what's wrong and what to do when you see wrong. And instead, we're all just clicking a box. Like, literally, what are we doing here? Why don't we do this thing? Why don't we take something that we have to do and make it something we want to do? So we talked about that in an article that was in TechCrunch and later found out that um, the CEO of Netflix had like seen it, shared it with his legal team. Um, and that's like how, you know, I, I learned about them and I would have this very... Um, <laughs> minimal uh, CRM or you know, people would put their emails through and I would just look and see like, oh, at big company. And I would email them and be like, hi, what do you want to talk about? And I just got on a call with them totally unafraid because I figured like I've got nothing to lose. We're a small company and did discovery, learned about their pain points. Why are you on a call with me? Like you have a lot of other things to do. Oh, you really hate your training. What do you hate about it? So like press was one. And then once we started getting customers, the second big one was word of mouth. So like, you know, we never took a customer for granted. Like we were just so excited to have um, our early customers. And so I think that like looked like delivering a really great experience such that when they were in an HR Slack channel and someone slacked out, hey, I've got to, you know, do my annual compliance training. Any good vendors out there? Someone would say, hey, check out Athena. And suddenly it would be like, you know, boom, boom, boom. We'd get five emails and be like, where'd you guys come from? And they'd say like, oh, Susie at whatever, you know. Um, and then the third thing we started to get really good at is just working our network. So someone who I went to college with knew someone and I would, or actually a great example, I was interviewing someone to be on our sales team and it wasn't a good fit, but I was like, do you want to tell your legal team about us? And the guy was like, sure, I'll tell my legal team about you guys. And that's how we got a public tech company because just like someone we interviewed emailed their HR or legal team and they were willing to get on a call with me and then they bought. The press. Was that just the one TechCrunch article or, or was it like kind of a result of, you know, a number of these kinds of articles or whatever that you were, you were kind of getting out there and, and talking about the problem with? Initially it was one, but um, we did a really good job storytelling and brand building and did the work behind it. So for example, I wrote a fortune op-ed about why um, sexual harassment training is broken and I wrote it with Gretchen Carlson and that got a lot of attention because like it was very well researched. I articulated like there is research that shows at best this doesn't work. At worst, it makes men in particular have more unconscious gender bias. This is bananas. And then some CHR would read it and say like, this is bananas. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> like I'm citing studies. I'm just like marketing the problem really. And then we can talk about my solution. But yeah, initial press moments followed up by, I think, like a smart approach to essentially being a thought leader in the space. 